Here are 10 red commons that you should put in your next commander deck or popper deck or, you know, whatever deck that they fit in. I think these are really, really good. These are in no particular order, um, but yeah, let's get into it. First off, we have Malicious Intent. You, so you, it's an aura, you enchant one of your creatures, and then it can tap to make a creature un, like not be able to block for the turn. I think that's pretty pretty cool. I mean, again, this is just a common, so you can't do all the creatures, but here's the thing. If you're forcing the opponent's really big creature to never be able to block, you can probably get through pretty easy, or say they have a flyer and you need to get over with flying. There you go, they can't block. It's just a really cool, you know, little effect. Put on one of your little creatures and just tap that that big thing down every time and then you just get around your opponent's stuff. Next we have three and they're because they're all basically the same. We got fire breathing, get to fire breathing, and dragon mantle. All of them enchant creatures and all of them give the creature fire breathing essentially from the card fire breathing. <laughs> you can pay a red and enchant a creature gets plus one plus oh until end of turn and you can just pay that as much as you want to make it, you know, or as much as you have, you know, to make it super big. Get to fire breathing is the same for one extra mana. It has flash and you can return it to his owner's hand for one red mana if you need. So if that creature dies, you can just return and get two fire breathing to your hand. Kind of a nice extra thing for one mana. And then Dragon Mantle does the exact same thing when it enters you draw a card. So it's just, they're all super cool and they're all just make your red creatures even bigger. Turn all your creatures into dragons. Next we have Festival Crasher and Kiln Fiend. They're more or less the same. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, they get plus two plus oh, or plus three plus oh, uh, respectively. And you can just, as you do that, they just get bigger. And so they kind of trade off. So Festival Crasher only gets plus two plus oh, but it has one extra toughness. And then vice versa for Kiln Fiend. Really good in Popper, in my opinion. It's my uh, red Popper deck. It's, they're, it's incredible. I love these two. And even in Commander, if you have Kiln Fiend out, you can cast just tons and tons of stuff and it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and it's just really really cool it's like a super strong pseudo prowess almost and it, anyway i love these two another popper all-star kessig flame breather so whenever you cast a non-creature spell it deals one damage to each opponent that's okay come on spell slinging decks let's go pair pair this with the last two uh, kiln fiend and festival crasher and you've just got just crazy things going on, and it's super annoying to be poked every time you do something in Commander, and this does it to each opponent. This is not bad for two mana. I, I really love this card. Next is End the Festivities for one red mana as a sorcery. It deals one damage to each opponent and each creature and Planeswalker they control. So it's just kill all the little tiny tokens. If you're against the token deck, this will just wipe the field with them for one red mana. And it pairs with Gearson Starn just incredibly well. So whenever you deal exactly one damage to a permanent or player, he deals two damage additional. So this just kind of wipes anything with three or more for gear if in a Gearson deck. These cards are all just super inexpensive and they're just amazing. Next is Reckless Impulse. So for one and a red, you exile the top two cards of your library, and then until your next turn, you can play those cards. Impulse draw at its finest, you know, at least you know for proper, but and it is super good. So you just you get two cards and then you can play them till your next turn. So you've got options for a whole turn. So if you get a land there, you can play that land, or you can wait till next turn to play that land, or you can play whatever else is on this thing. And it's it's just, it's just so cool. I don't even know how to explain it. It's I love I love these. I've said that like with all of them, but I love all these cards. Offer the guilds. Bet you none of you have heard of this card. Monocolor creatures can't block this turn wow like you just swing right in with your biggest like stuff and all those giant green creatures or white creatures or you know solid color creatures those are gonna be unable to block and you can just swing in for the win this is such a great card and I'm in awe of the guilds look at that Blazing Salvo is a lightning bolt for creatures, but that creature's controller can have you deal five damage to them instead. Pair this with Torbran or Fiery Emancipation or something like that, and this gets very dangerous. So it, it, it might be a little bit niche, but hey, come on, it's, it's really awesome, especially for those extra red damage decks. And it's just a lose-lose for opponents, so it's, it's just really great, especially for one red mana. 
Fist of Flames. One and a red instant to draw a card. Not many red cards just say draw a card right off the bat there. But until end of turn, target creature gets trample and gets plus one plus over each card you've drawn this turn. Now, I don't know if you've seen my Niv Mizzet deck tech, but that deck needs this card. I need to go find it. I know I have it and put it in that deck. Because at the very least, you're getting plus one plus oh and trample if it's not your turn. But if it's on your turn, it's already getting plus two plus oh and trample. So you can. You know, you can really buff things up with this thing, especially in those card draw decks. Man, this will ramp up real fast. And last but not least is Molten Monstrosity, seven red, ooh, for a five five, but wait. It costs X less to cast, where X is the greatest power among creatures you control, and it's got trample, look at that. In a red green deck, this is gonna go off. So pair it with something like Galta Primal Hunger, and look at that, you've already got 12 less <laughs> that you can do, and Galta makes himself cost less as well. So pair this with something crazy big, and you're probably gonna get a five five with trample for one red man. Mana. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, especially if you're doing a Hellion deck. And I've really wanted to do a Hellion deck. Maybe I should make a video of that. <laughs> but Hellions are super cool in my opinion. It's like the red worm. Anyway, okay, that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss your weekly dose of magic. And pick up some of these cards. They're all less than a dollar.